right, greetings everyone. Here once again, we are certainly very grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ for blessing us to be again back in the place of worship. Uh, we certainly want to greet all the saints of God everywhere and certainly uh, the visitors here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, uh, who have gathered here to hear the word of God from our leader, teacher, and guide, Pastor Jennings. We're not going to delay the time any longer. Uh, we know we're always anxious to hear from our pastor. So at this time, our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger, certainly the messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor and Apostle, Gino Jennings. Thank you, brothers and sisters. You may be seated. Say greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. And there is no God greater than him. He is God alone. We thank him for his divine guidance. For God is perfect. God is infallible. God have no flaws and God have no errors. God is the true sender of holy prophets and holy apostles. Them the only kind of preachers that God send. God don't send devils and God don't send liars. They are sent, but God didn't send them. They're preaching, but not by God's permission. So just like God sent men, the devil sent men. And the devil sent more men than God sent. And the reason why the devil sent more men than God, because there's more going to hell than going to be saved. So this is why we're back here in Harrisburg. Haven't been here in quite some time. <laughs> but the message haven't changed. And uh, Harrisburg haven't changed neither. Your city is still wicked. Still have a bunch of liars in your pulpits here. Churches are still playing with you. And the fear of God is not in the city. There's only a few people in Harrisburg that fear God. That's why only a few want to be right. But if you look at church, church don't fear God. Church play with God. And play with the Bible. And play musical chairs in churches. Well, if you've been watching the program, and I'm sure you have, the message haven't changed, regardless of where we go in America, Canada, Europe, Caribbean, the word of the Lord have not changed. All right, let's dive into the Bible, mm -hmm. that book that hurts you. And you know that devil in you don't like to be hurt with the Bible. Hmm. The devil love you, Harrisburg. Don't you know that? Hmm. You feel him hugging you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the devil embracing you, holding you close. That's right. To his wicked bosom. <laughs> That's why when the word of God is preached, it makes the wicked holler. All the wicked and ungodly that hear the word of God always holler out because they don't like their evil spoken against. I never saw a robber run to the police to get a lift to take them home. So the devil run away from God's word. And the reason why the devil run to what is called church, because in the devil's church, the sinner know his wrong will not be spoken against. That's right. 
You know, the devil, the false prophet, the preacher, and in most cases, your pastor, he pets you like someone rub a cat. You know, you can antagonize a cat and it'll strike at you. Then you can rub a cat and you can hear it. Purr, that's the way your pastor do you. He rub you and have you purring. That's why you purr when the woman preacher get in the pulpit and the preacher tell you it's all right to be gay. It's all right for two women to marry each other and two men to marry each other and have three gods and four gods and you can divorce and live together not married. Oh, you love that kind of preaching. That's right. Because that kind of preacher rub your head and put you to sleep. That's right. That preacher, you will give him your whole bank account. Here I come back in Harrisburg to tell you what the word of God said. Harrisburg should be ran over this afternoon. They should be lined up outside. Because salvation have come to this city. Now you bear in mind if only one would have came, just one, I still would have preached the same thing. Because saving one soul out of this wicked, ungodly, hellish city, saving one, just as important as saving the entire city itself. That's right. Just one. All right, let's dive into the Bible. Mm -hmm. Let's go to work. In the book of St. John, chapter 8. Follow me, Harrisburg. Follow me. Saint we'll be back tomorrow. Don't you go to your church tomorrow. Don't even waste your time and go play church. Come on back tomorrow. And in fact, tell your pastor. I don't care if he's your husband. Close the church tomorrow yeah. and come here so I can kill him. Go ahead. Amen. Kill him with God everlasting word. I don't care if you claim to be a preacher this afternoon too. Do you know, according to the Bible, every preacher supposed to preach the same thing? And do you know, according to the Bible, every church supposed to believe the same thing? That's right. And do you know, according to the Bible, Every church in the world is supposed to have the same message. That's right. You're not supposed to have all these variety of religions in one neighborhood. No. This is not open buffet for religion. Amen. What do you think this is? Go ahead. This ain't the golden corral. <laughs> Go ahead. This is not bonanza. That's right. You know you go to the golden corral and you pay at the door, then you go to open buffet and get your collard greens, your string beans, and your pork chop, your turkey, your fish, your macaroni and fig cheese, and amen. Go ahead. <laughs> amen. Amen. And you get what you want. What you want. The devil went in, get what you want religion business. God have one way. That's right. One way. That's right. One standard. One gospel. Hey Amen. We was in Canada two weeks ago, and about 29 souls went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And one came up the water speaking in tongue. From Canada, we went home and was home for about two days and went to England the same week. 28 souls went down in water in England. In the name of Jesus Christ, three came up the water speaking in tongues. It was jam-packed in England. Yeah. I mean jam-packed. Oh, yeah. And then they came all the way from Cyprus. That's right. Went down in water. They came from Rome, Italy, yeah. and went down in water. Flew in from the Philippines, went down in water. Came from Iraq went down in water. Several came from Holland, went down in water, came from the Congo and from Nigeria. Amen. Why? Want to be right with God. And you that are here, you that are here looking in my old face, you better get right with God. That's right. Life is not promised to you. 
long life. God have your time of arrival recorded. And God have your time of departure recorded. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. Amen. A fella that I grew up with, they buried him today. One year older than me. Uh, last week, my brother, my youngest brother, was with them that Thursday. Him and some other gentlemen from the old neighborhood I grew up in in Huntington Park. They was with them that Thursday night. By Friday, my brother got a call by Friday night, 9.30. He Lord. dropped dead. My Lord. Yeah. My Lord. Dropped dead. Hey Amen. I talked to my third oldest brother on the way here. I said, did you go to the funeral? He said, Gene, I hate I went. He said it was so sad. So sad. See him laying there. You bear in mind, God is giving the whole world time. Yeah. Are you listening, Harrisburg? God is giving you time to obey him. You only got a short time to party and shake your old fake hips and rearrange your fake hair and put on your dog hair eyebrows and wear your war paint on your lips. Am I right? You only got a short time, Harrisburg. You only got a short time to live together and not marry and make all the bastard children that you want. You only got a short time to play church. You only got a short time to hang out and drink and smoke and party and act like a fool. Jesus is coming. I don't care if you don't believe it. Amen. That's what had me traveling around the world barking loud. Amen. I'm like a dog in your yard that you wish would shut up. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. You're laying there trying to sleep and trying to get all comfortable. Yeah. But I'm in your backyard. Oh, yeah. Gospel, gospel. Go ahead. Gospel. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Fuck it. Waking you up. Hey, Amen. Why? You got too comfortable in your sins. Right. Oh, yes. If you look at the world, they got comfortable. Oh, yeah. My God, man, they are so comfortable now. Hey, Amen. Uh, we was on our way here, and we had on what they call gospel music. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to an artist, Rance Island. Island, you know, he's been singing for a long time, and Amen. Nothing but a sinner. <laughs> Amen. Because sinners, they sing about Jesus too, you know. That's right. And on his album, he had a pervert singing with him. My Lord. Snoop Dogg. Wow. Snoop Dogg was rapping while Rance was singing. My Lord. I'm telling you, folks, folks are playing church. They are playing church, and you're not taking God seriously. Amen. You think because a rapper get up there rapping on a so-called Christian song that make him a Christian? No! No. You got to obey Jesus to be right. Can't done because you go to, listen, you go to church with cigarettes in your pocket, joint in your wallet, a lottery ticket in your pocketbook, and your second wife on your arm. Go ahead. Right in church. Go ahead. Go ahead. But my God, will you do this thing like the word of God said? Amen. You better, you better give me the uh, book of 1 Corinthians, if you will. Mm -hmm. No, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And begin at verse 1. Amen. Thank God I'm I'm ready to work now. Go ahead. I wasn't I wasn't feeling that well on my way here. And I was sitting in the room over there and drunk a little bit of water. I start feeling sick and not feeling well, but Go starting ahead, to feel a little bit better. Go ahead. Because Williams got my doctor's bag in his hand. Oh yes. And, oh yes. Amen. Thank God in that I got a Holy Ghost antidote in there. Go ahead. Amen. At Harrisburg, I'm ready to give it to you, God knows. Amen. So if any of you get upset, you make sure you get mad enough to come back tomorrow morning. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Make sure you get angry enough to come back tomorrow morning because the truth of God program 
It's only for those who want to be right. Yeah. If you want to play church, you're not going to like what I'm preaching. No. Because I didn't come here to be your friend. I didn't come here to be your buddy. We came here to tell you what God said. Go ahead. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Go ahead, thank God. And when I tell you what God said, Amen. I know I'm doing it right. That's right. All right, follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible here. Hallelujah. All right, son. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Yeah. And we'll start at verse 1. All right. Therefore, see. Therefore, this is the Apostle Paul, made a preacher. Amen. Made by hands of heaven. He, amen, God appeared unto this man and while he was on the road to Damascus yeah. to give the church a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. But God saw that he can use them. That's right. So God got this sinner, this rotten, no good, wicked man. Oh, yeah. But there was some good in him. That's right. Blessed be the name of God, a light shine from heaven. heaven. The light now is shining in Harrisburg. Oh, yeah. And uh, you better fall to it too. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That wickedness that's in you. You got to fall, meaning you got to surrender. Oh yeah. You got to give up. Mm -hmm. And that's a message that you don't hear no more. No. You got to give up yeah. to walk with God. That's right. You see, the false prophet got you believing. You don't have to give up nothing. Right. He said, "Come to Jesus as you are." All right. Well, come on, come on. as you are. But when you come to him as you are, you can't remain right. as you are. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You can't remain. That's right. And that's the difference between what these men are preaching now. You come to Jesus as you are, so you claim. Mm. But look at you. You still smoke. Yeah. Still drink. Still shoot pool. Mm -hmm. Still roll dice. Still party. Still go to the club. There's no difference in you. That's right. Glory right, to God. Listen to what the word of God said. Therefore seeing we have. Therefore seeing. We have. We have. This ministry. I can say that oh, this yeah. afternoon. Oh yeah. What do you mean you can say that Pastor Janice? I can say exactly what the Apostle Paul said. Not only can I read it. Yeah. But I can say it. That's right. I have the this same ministry. ministry mm. that God Hallelujah. gave the apostles. That's right. What is that? Go ye, Go ye. into all the world the Hallelujah. and preach the gospel to every creature. That's right. He that believe what? Believe what? The gospel. The gospel. And act upon it. Mm -hmm. Shall be saved. Be saved. He that don't believe it. Why you gonna be dropped in hell? That's right. Huh? Therefore, you, you see, bear in mind, you bear in mind, this life hallelujah. is hanging between two eternal places. That's right. Harrisburg, I want to warn you. I want to warn you. That's right. Your life that you now have hangs between two eternal places. That's right. It hangs between heaven and and a hang between hell. That's right. Are oh, you listen to the old man? That's right. Now, when a lot of time when a person died right away, old reverend, <laughs> cigar sucking, pipe sucking, toupee wearing, manicure nail revving. That's right. Right away. Right away when you die, right away. he put you in heaven. Yeah. You know why he put you in heaven? Because he don't want to offend your wicked family. That's right. And after your, fa your family know your brother or your sister or your mama ain't going to heaven, even your family know. Sometimes when that lying Jerry Curl head reverend tell you, well, they in heaven, family members nudge one another. That's right. Start laughing. Amen. They know better. They know better. <laughs> That's right. They know better. That's right. Amen. Even what? Even the sinner know he going to hell like me. Amen. But because they don't want to offend your relatives, yeah. they throw them up in heaven. Mm -hmm. Harrisburg, mm -hmm. Harrisburg. Oh, yeah. You gonna stand before God? Oh yes. The entire city. Oh yes. Yeah. Them that die and them that are alive. Yeah. And them that will be born. That's right. Everybody. 
you're going to stand before God. That's right. I don't care who you are, how cute you think you are. If you got so many curves, you got more curves than Route 1, 95, 85, 495, and 295. Oh, yeah. Brother, that's a lot of curves, isn't it? Amen. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. When you go, how much money you got, your position you have, if your house is so large, your bathroom is larger than this auditorium. That's right. God help your water bill. Amen. But when you stand before God. And I saw the dead. Listen at this, Harrisburg. In, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20 and at verse 12. Listen at the Apostle John, brother of James, mm -hmm. sons of Zebedee. And I saw the dead. I saw the dead. Small. Small and great. What were they doing? Stand before God. All right, hold it. Now, when it says small and great, it don't mean small in stature and great in stature. No. That means small. They may not be so important in life, and mm -hmm. maybe there isn't too many people that know them, and they may be poor and mm -hmm. may not have no notoriety and no significance to no one. Small. Small. You know, meaningless to people. That's right. Great kings, rich folk, wealthy, wealthy. presidents, dictators. Mm -hmm. In other words, when God come, he gather everybody together. That's right. I saw the dead. Small. Small. And great. All right, Harrisburg, that include you. That's right. Your governor going to be here. That's right. Your mayor going to be here. Old Donald Dump going to be here. Amen. Huh? Small and great. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yeah. Your cousin going to be there. Your mother. That's right. Your grandmother. Your husband. Your third wife. Go ahead. Your second husband. Your girlfriend that you now have. Amen. Huh? I saw the day. Huh? Your son. Your daughter. Go ahead. Oh, I don't care who you are. Amen. While you're in the bar, you're going to hear a bunch of commotion one day, and you're going to run out the bar and look up. That's right. And there is your Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't give a show about it. Amen. Amen. You're going to be on your way driving. Go ahead. Man. Amen. Going to that party. Go ahead. Happy. Listen to your music. Hallelujah. Bobbing your head. Hallelujah. Next thing you know, you're going to see cars. Amen. Brake lights all lined up down the road. And oh, yeah. Track the trailers mm -hmm. and jackknife. And Go ahead. Everybody, get that on the expressway. Yeah. Motion. Go ahead. Look it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take off. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who is that? Hallelujah. Who is that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come. Yeah. Hallelujah. Harrisburg. Go ahead, brother. You're going to see Jesus. Go ahead. Somebody say, well, I don't believe us no Jesus. I don't care. It don't matter. I don't care. That's right. You're going to see Jesus? Oh, yes. Your mother going to see him. Every eye. Your father going to see him. Go ahead. Every atheist every eye. going to see him. Go ahead. Do you get what I'm telling you? I saw the dead. Small. Small. And great. Now, which one are you? Which one are you? Hallelujah. Which one are you? Hallelujah. Miss Thing. Go ahead. Mr. Thing. Which Go one ahead. are you? Go ahead. Huh? Are you one of those small ones? Small. Are you one of those self-righteous, hard head, arrogant, great ones? Great. I don't care if you think you God's gift to every man on the planet. That's right. Thank you God's gift to every woman in the world. That's right. Brother, yes. you're going to stand before God. That's right. Think of it. Now, think of this. Imagine being on the expressway and keep driving reckless. And uh, a man pull you over. And you cuss that man out. I mean, you cuss him out. And then a man say, all right, I'll see you in court. And you put your finger up at him and say, that's right, I'll see you in court. <laughs> then when your court day come, the one you cussed out, the man, first the man says, let us rise. That's right. And the judge that come up, it's the same man you cussed out. My Lord. Can you imagine? My Lord. The judge is the same man Amen. you cussed out. My Lord. Huh? Mm. Now, the judge, judge. that's going to appear mm. in the heavens world yeah. is the same one, the same one. that you're cussing out. That's right. You're blowing smoke in his face. That's right. You're playing church That's in his name. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead. You're making mockery up. Go ahead. You preachers are lying to the people yeah. in the name of name Jesus. Of You're baptizing wrong. That's
That's right. You got your women in the pulpit. Yeah. You're divorcing and remarrying. Go ahead. You're playing church all around the world. Amen. But what? I saw the day. I saw the day. Small and great. What they doing? Stand before God. Hallelujah. Take God. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, they're going to stand before who? Stand before God. You can hate Geno Jennings all you want. I don't care. You ain't standing it before me. No, no. You're going to stand before who? Stand before God. Before who? Before God. Are you ready? Mm. Are you ready now? My Lord. Oh, why do you think the Bible says it was in the days of Noah? So shall it be when the Son of Man come. I'm doing just like Noah was doing. That's right. Amen. In the days of Noah, God instructed him to build an ark for the saving of his house. Mm -hmm. In other words, everyone to be saved, they had to come into that ark. Yeah. Now when God sent men, God sent men to work on his building, and God's building is the church. That's right. And uh, I'm in the wilderness of America. Go ahead. Warning the world yeah. to come out Enough. of everything. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come out the Baptist, come out the Methodist, come out the Presbyterian, out. come out the Lutheran, come out the non-denominational, come out the Catholic, come out the Mormon, come out the Seventh-day Adventist, yeah. come out the Pentecostal, come, come out the so-called apostolic. Right. Pastor Jenner, why you keep telling us to come out? Come because out. none of it is in the Bible. That's right. That's why. That's right. Why in the world are you paying these churches all this money that they don't exist in the Bible? That's that's right. Will you go work for a company that won't give you a check? Oh, Lord. Hey, go ahead, brother. You mean to tell me you'll be loyal to a, uh, a company and go to work every day and you're not going to get paid? Amen. You're going to go in a religion mm. and invite people to your false church? That's right. To hear your fake reverend? Go ahead. And the only pay you're going to get is hell? That's it. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. Do you hear? And I saw the day, small and great. I'm warning you. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't like you either. I love you. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory, I don't care if you don't like Pastor Jennings. I don't like none of you. That's right. I love everybody. That's right. Yeah. That's why I'm here now. Thank God. Hammering and stopping the word of God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw the dead, small and great, small and great. Mm -hmm. Now, that lets you know God have no respect to person. That's right. No respect to person. Small and great. And great. And Big great. shot, little shot, yeah. small and, and great. great. That's right. What were they doing, son? They stand before God. That got your preacher. Mm -hmm. That got your manicure and nail preacher. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That got your preacher. God going to come while he's sitting there with some woman holding his hand. That's right. Or some gay man holding his hand, right. buffing his old feminine nails. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You going to remember. Go ahead. Glory to God when, you, when God appear in that old dish of, you got your hands soaking and fall soaking. over. And that old preacher sitting there with his weave all in his head. Go ahead, his brother. Grill on his teeth. Go ahead. And his alligator shoes on. And his Amen. old funny looking nails being held in the hand of a fairy. Go ahead. Go ahead, take God. When the Lord comes, Amen. that fairy going to drop his fire. Yes, he will. Yeah. That fellow that thinks he's a preacher going to jump out the chair. That's right. And when he look up and see a number that no man can number rising up off the earth, ascending up in the heavens, and yet his feet is still here. And yet he claims he's a preacher. My Lord. And he's still here. Amen. Lord, oh, take God. I saw the day. Small and great. That got everybody in here. That's right. That got you. Small and oh, great. Yeah. It says small and great. And that great. got all of us. That's right. Stand before God. Stand before God. And what? And the books were open. God is a bookkeeper. Oh, yeah. Eh? Amen. You know, sometimes folks go around and cheat on their finance, but God is a bookkeeper. That's right. Hey, Amen. You can cheat and think you some Baptist Christian, Methodist Christian. You cheat. Oh, yeah. Hey, Amen. Why? God said, be holy. That's right. Amen. And the books Amen. were open. The Bible said the book, God is the bookkeeper. That's right. The one thing I know about God, he don't put no lies, no lies. in his book. Amen. All right, son. And the books were open. The books were open. And another book was open. And another book was open. Which is the book of life. Which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book. Do you hear this? Amen. You're going to be judged. Judged. Mr. and Mrs. 
thing. That's right. Huh? That's right. When I came up in the 1970s, there used to be a song. I believe it was uh, Mr. Mr. Big Stuff. Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Amen. Mr. Big Stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. and Mrs. Big Stuff, you're going to find out that you don't have no stuff. That's right. When you stand before your Lord. And the dead will judge. Think of it. Mm. Standing before God. Stand before God. And when you see him, his face outshine lightning. That's right. Huh? That's right. And then lightning is dull, dull compared to the brightness of God's face. That's right. Huh? And the dead will judge. The dead will judge. Out of those things. Out of those things. Which were written in the book. Everything you're doing, God got record on it. That's right. Huh? According Amen. to their work. According to their work, God got record on it. Every time you light a cigarette, he recorded. Amen. Every time you play the number, he recorded. That's right. Every time you lie, That's he right. recorded. That's right. Every time you steal, he recorded. Go ahead. Every time you preach a lie, Mr. Preacher, Amen. he recorded. Amen. Every time you go to a false church worshiping a religion Go ahead. that God don't have nothing to do with Amen. is recorded. And the dead were judged out of those things. Eh? The Go dead ahead. were judged. Were judged out of those things. Out of those things. Which were written in the book. They were written where? In the book. Written where? Or in the book. Written where? In the book. Do you hear this? Amen. Do it take God. Do what it says, son. According to their works. According? According to their works. All right, Harrisburg. One day, God going to burn the whole city down. Yes, he will. The whole city. That's right. And there's nothing you can do. That's right. Brother, there's nothing the fire department will be able to do, not only the city, mm -hmm. the entire world. Amen. You better give me the book of book Peter, of Peter. Son. Mm -hmm. You better give me the book of Peter quickly. Second Peter, chapter 2. I want everybody to hear me and follow me. Not only Harrisburg, but the whole world. Go this ahead. message is for the world. Go ahead. All right. Second Peter, chapter 3. And we'll start reading at verse Second 10. Second Peter chapter 3. And at verse 10. Begin at verse 9. At verse 9. All right. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The Lord, hallelujah to God, is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count As slackness. As some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us. God is patient towards us. Not willing that any should perish. That's what got me preaching so. That's right. God say it's not his will that you perish that mean this. God don't want you to go to hell. No. God don't really. want you to go to hell. That's right. But why are you trying to go so quickly? That's right. Here is God got the gospel here to get you right, but you're so hard-headed and so stubborn yeah. and so rebellious. My God, man, this is a rebellious world. Oh, yeah. You tell them what the Bible said, they'll fight you fight all day. They're fighting me all around the world. That's right. I mean, they're fighting me all around the world. Oh, yeah. But we got something that can handle creation. That's right. Amen. This thing can handle everything under the sun. Amen. Amen. Listen to what it says. Not willing that any should perish. God says, he Not don't want you perish. to perish. But that all. He don't want you mm -hmm. to perish. Not willing. He don't want you to go into the lake of fire. That's right. You got your second wife, you volunteered to go to hell. Amen. You living together, not married, you just making arrangements to go to hell. Oh, yeah. You got your second and third husband, and you know your first husband is living, really? you just making arrangements to go into hell. You That's might as well go in your kitchen, get some bologna and cheese, because hell going to bake it hot. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Pack yourself a lunch. Pack it. Take a doggy bag. <laughs> get a doggy bag. Amen. Or it take God because you get yourself prepared for the lake of fire. That's right. Anytime you got a religion, Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, Presbyterian, Mormon, Lutheran, non-denominational, apostolic, I don't care what you call yourself. Go ahead. If you got something and it's not in that Bible, you are making arrangements to go to hell. That's right. Huh? That's right. And let me educate you real good. When you die, I don't care what good words some slick hair preachers say over you. Mm -hmm. When you die and haven't obeyed the word of God, God is going to usher you usher in you. hell. Yeah. God. 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 That's right. God, I said. That's right. Hey Amen. The preacher can get up and lie and tell their family, well, I see a uh, brother John. <laughs> He's up there with his mother. <laughs> and John. Hey, I see John standing <laughs> over there in the He don't see John nowhere. No, no. John is laying right there. That's right. In that box. 
And from the box, John is going to be dropped, dropped in the ground. That's right. And John is going to lay there yeah. until one day yeah. the voice of God is going to ring through the heavens. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the dead. Go ahead. Oh, it take God is going to stand before, stand God. before God. And then that sinner, John, yeah. is going to come out the ground. That's right. Amen. Going to stand before God. Stand before God. And God going to question him. Mm. You were smoking. Yeah. You were drinking. Oh, yeah. I, I, I said I hate divorce. Oh, yeah. And you had three wives. Amen. I said that I made the woman for the man. For the man. And you married the man. That's right. And you a man yourself. Oh, yeah. I said clean yourself yeah. from all filthiness of the flesh. And here you are a stripper. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. God said. Go ahead. What he said? Not willing that any should perish. He's not willing. You can be hard headed and stubborn and be rebellious all you want. Oh, yeah. You see, one thing about God, he knows it's not in man mm -hmm. to give up evil. That's right. It's not in you either, woman. That's right. You want to be wicked too. You're full of hell like everything else. That's right. And this is why the word of God comes straighten out the woman mm -hmm. and comes straighten out, straighten up the man. Amen. Straighten out the woman mm -hmm. and then straighten up the man. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Not willing that any should perish. And they uh, should perish. But that all should come to repentance. But all. All, all should come to repentance. Come to what? To repentance. God wants you to do what? To come to repentance. God wants Harrisburg to do what? Come to repentance. God wants the whole world to do what? Come to repentance. Repent. Repent. Go ahead. What do you mean repent? God wants you sorry. Aren't you tired of being a sinner? Go ahead. Go ahead. You've been living like a fool all these years. Look at you. Go ahead. You're getting older and older and still sucking cigarettes, still sucking joint, still drinking whiskey, still running with women, running with men, still a homosexual, still a dyke. Am I right? Go ahead. Still a Baptist, still a Methodist, still a Presbyterian, still a Lutheran, still apostolic, still Pentecostal. You got all this religious trash that come out of hell. Amen. Here I come with the broom of the scriptures, right. sweeping it back into hell from where it comes from. Amen. Aren't you tired? Uh, Aren't you tired of wearing somebody else's hair? Preacher, wearing brother. somebody else's eyebrows? Go ahead. What's wrong with the fingernails God gave you? Why don't you give Walgreens back their fingernails? Hallelujah. Aren't you tired of painting your face? Preacher, Aren't you tired of amen, living like a fool? Go ahead. Aren't you tired of it yet? Amen. What? But that all should come to Repentance. How much? All should come to How much? All should come to repentance. All. Hallelujah. All should take God. Hallelujah. How much? All should come to repentance. Everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants everybody in Harrisburg. Go ahead. Come to repentance. And the world. What do you want you to come to? Come to repentance. You see, that's why you're so full of the Hallelujah. devil repeatedly, because you never came to repentance. That's it. That's you right. just came to church. That's right. But you never came to repentance. Come to repentance. Amen. Now you can come to church. That doesn't mean you came to repentance. That's right. When you come to repentance, your heart is broken. That's right. Huh? That's right. Your heart is convicted. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's why you find some folk get mad at me mm -hmm. when they hear us preach the word of God because it went right to the heart. That's it. They can sit in a false church all day. Okay. Nothing the preacher said. Prick their heart. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. They just sit there and smile and <laughs> rock right. back and forth and say, Praise Him. Mm -hmm. Praise Him. Here we come with the true, holy heart hitting gospel of Jesus Christ Go ahead, to brother. work right on your heart. Go ahead. You see, your heart needs to get right with God. That's it. If your heart is not right, then you're not right. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't care if you go to church. You can go to church all day. Oh, yeah. If your heart is not oh. right, you're oh. not right. Amen. You get what I'm telling you? Not willing to you go to a church because your girlfriend go? Preach it, what kind of weak foolishness is that? Go ahead. You don't go to a church because your boyfriend asks you to come? No! Oh, no. You want to know is that God's church. That's it. And the only way you know it's God's church is when God's word is being preached. That's right. And when God's word is being preached, the preacher don't have to write out nothing. No, no, no. Eh? No, no. When you go to your church and your little preacher got a sermon written out now, or got a laptop up there reading his sermon. That's the devil's preacher. That's right. That's your pastor. That's right. Eh? Amen. I said that's the devil's preacher. Oh yeah. Amen. God's
preacher don't go to, I never been to Bible college. I never been to Bible school. Amen. I got the best teacher. Oh, yes. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is my teacher. Hallelujah. Hey. Go ahead. God is hey. my Go ahead. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thanks be on that. God is my teacher. That's right. And be on that. that. God is my teacher. Go ahead, he brother. Open my mouth. Go ahead. And move me today. Go ahead. Yeah. Preach Go the ahead. word of God. Preach the word. Hallelujah. Thank God Go without ceasing. Go ahead. Amen. That's glory to God. And that's what I do. Oh, yes. God be my helper. That's what I have to do. Have to do. What it. did he say there? Not willing that any should fail. Not willing. Blessed be God. That any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. You go to this church and you think you got a preacher. Mm. Amen. Because he got his sermon written out. You That's got right. that devil That's in the, the devil. pulpit. That's right. God preacher don't write out no sermon. Oh, no. He got a laptop and read his sermon mm. and then give you a topic. The light is orange. No, that's the devil. That's the devil. That, that's right. That's the devil. That's the devil. The light is orange. You know, that's the devil. Amen. And you sit there and say, look out there. Yes, look they out. do. Yes, they do. The, the, the light is orange. That's the devil. That's the devil. Well, Pastor Jenny, what's your topic? My topic is the same all the time. All the time. What is it? Truth in the morning? Truth in the afternoon? That's right. Truth at night? That's right. Hey! Hallelujah. It's always the truth. Always. Hallelujah. Take God. Hallelujah. You understand? Not willing that any should perish. God say he's not willing that you be perished. But, but that all but should come. But that how much? All should come. How much of Harrisburg? All should come. Come on, Harrisburg! Amen. Everybody in town. Hallelujah. What they got to come to. All should come to repentance. Oh, you got to repent. Oh, yeah. Oh. Repent for what, Pastor Jennings? Every sin you ever done. Oh, yeah. Every sin you thought of doing. That's right. Every sin you intend to do. That's right. Hey, God, Go you ahead. got to do what? Come to repentance. Come to it. Come to repentance. Come to it. That's it. Come, come. to it. When come. the word of God is being preached, and you know you guilty of that thing, mm -hmm. you got to ask God to forgive you for it. That's right. And when you truly repent, it is not just verbalizing, saying, I'm sorry. Oh, no. You feel convicted. That's yeah. right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, it's like a man that think he's so tough mm -hmm. until a cop catch him yeah. and throw them cuffs on him. And when he get in that paddy wagon, <clears throat> nobody may not see him. But when he's in that paddy wagon, he's sorry. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's sorry. That's right. I mean, he's in there. His heart is broken. Mm -hmm. And, man, thank God he got a broken and contrite that's right. heart. That's right. Why? Because he know there's something in front of him that's waiting that he don't want. That's right. There's something in front of the whole world. Oh, yeah. That you're not going to want. Amen. It's called eternal hell. Oh, yeah. And I don't care how stubborn and how rich and how arrogant and how self-centered and self-righteous and how cute you think you are. That's right. How much money you have don't impress God no, because no. God owned the universe Amen. and nobody has more than him. That's right. What everybody got to come to? But that all should come to repentance. Now when you come to repentance, oh, oh, you yeah. got the sorrow That's about right. your wrong. And you are convicted in your heart. That's right. Or it take God and you want change. Oh, yeah. You want change and you are make an effort to change. That's right. You are repent, repent. of your sins. Mm -hmm. Repent of them. You know, repentance gives you a broken and a contrite heart. heart. Amen. Your heart is broken and you're ready to surrender your will. That's right. You know, you know right. it's, like, it's like when you get older. When you get older, certain things you've done as a child play out. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Hey man, when I was a kid, I played with G.I. Joes and I had little army men. I don't do that now. <laughs> played out. I had my out. Hot Wheels. I played out. I ain't got Hot Wheels now. <laughs> hey man, I played out. Played out. Hey man, I had my little Batmobile, a Hot Wheels Batmobile, and then when I would, I'd be out there, mm, 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 make the noise and everything. That's right. Played out now. Played out. Huh? That's right. Hey man, there's certain things when you was a child. When I when, was a child. Listen at this, that, listen at this in the book of Corinthians. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and at verse 11. Solomon. When I was a child. This is the apostle Paul. When I was a child. I spake as a child. Speak as a child. I understood as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. And my mindset was like a child. But. But when I became a man, what I put away childish things. You see, when you're a sinner, you act like a child. That's why you're out there jumping around, romp a room like a fool, and 
That's playing right. around and playing musical chairs in your party and dancing all Friday night, all Saturday night, shaking your hips and yeah. shaking your fake hair, little strings of hair falling Sweet. all on the ground. Go ahead. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Man jerking his head back and got to run and put that toupee on. That's right. Hey, man, some of you got your fake hair. You can't even scratch your head. You're walking around hitting your head like you ain't got good sense. My lord. Hey! Go ahead. What's the matter What's the with matter? you? You know there's something abnormal about that behavior. That's right. It's here when, when you got your own hair, you can scratch it at will. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Hey Amen. But when you got somebody else's hair that been imported from India, you can't scratch. You got to hit it. That's right. <laughs> Huh? Uh, he's sure. standing there talking to somebody. Talking to somebody. <laughs> hey, you got a job interview. Amen. You know something wrong with that? Something's wrong. Huh? That's right. God said, I hate every That's false right. way. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made you, woman? Go ahead. Woman, you know God ain't made you like that. Go ahead. You know your hair is not that color. Mm. You know that's not your hair. Love yourself. That's right. When you love yourself, you won't have to tattoo your body. That's right. You won't have to advertise your breasts. Go ahead, You won't brother. have to advertise your behind. Go ahead. You won't have to advertise your calves. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. You won't have to advertise your body just to get a man. Amen. Why? You love yourself. yourself. You'll give your body over to God. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Not willing that any should perish. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Not willing. That any should perish. Some folks say, well, I'm just going to sit through this. I ain't coming back tomorrow. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> what I'm preaching going to travel with you home. Oh, yes. It's going to travel with you to the grave. That's right. You're going to find it coming to your mind at the workplace. That's right. Ah! That's right. What? Not willing that any should God! perish. After you. Amen. Tough man and miss woman, yeah. God Almighty, Go he's after you. That's right. You know why? Because he said he's not willing. That any should perish. That any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. How much? All should come to repentance. Look at the young girls today out here with hot pants on. Splits from the ankle all the way up the hip. That's and right. And they mama look the same way. Amen. Huh? Amen. Mama ain't got no shame. She's out here She's with out. hot pants on. Everything in the shorts, hanging out the shorts. That's right. Shorts this big, blouse that big. That's right. Got her daughter dressed the same way. Amen. Men driving by, bumping horns at her little daughter. Oh, yeah. Daughter only 15, thank God. And, oh, and yes. a 30 year old pervert, pervert. driving by, bumping it horn. That's right. And besides the mother teaching the girl right, she had to tell the daughter, wave. Yes, yes, wave. Do. That's right. Wave, you're so foolish. That's right. You're so blind and so full of hell. Go ahead. Go ahead, take God, but I'm going to work on you while I have you here. Amen. Hell. Not willing that any should perish. Not willing that any should Go perish. Go ahead, take God that any perish. But that all should come to repentance. That who should come? All should come. That got the white man. I don't care if you're so white, you look like flour. That's right. And when you walk, you form your own smoke. All should come. Huh? Amen. Who should come? All should come. All right, black man, all these religions right and me are talking about the black man, this, the black man, the other. I don't care if you're so black. Until when I walk in the street, it's you. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's Somebody right. said the street is moving. No, it's not. What's That's him. That? Amen. The street ain't moving, that's just him. Amen. That's if you're so black, all I see is your eyes. Go ahead. And your teeth. All should come. All should come. To repentance. You better get this. God don't care who you are. That's right. Do you know every man and woman from the past and the present and the future, mm. you're going to stand before God. That's right. Think of it. That's right. Everybody. 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 From the first man, Adam. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Everybody! But well, we must all appear. Who gonna do it? We must all appear. You got Adam. Thank God Adam knew Eve. And, hey, amen. They had two sons. Yeah. Bless God that they gonna stand before oh, God. That's Cain right. and Abel. That's right. And then uh, Abel died. And, hey, amen. Seth came on here. And Seth begot Enos. And Enos begot Canaan. And Canaan begot Belial. And Belial begot Jared. And the line kept going on. But all of them gonna stand we before must God. All appear. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Nahum. Bless God, Habakkuk, and Ezekiel. All of them going to oh. have a
the heart of Rahab. Go ahead. Even though she done something good, but she gonna stand All before appears. God. That's right. Every city, every state, Go ahead, every brother. governor, every past king, All every appear. emperor, yeah. every president, Hallelujah. every dictator. Hallelujah. Yeah. We must all. It appear. doesn't matter. Go ahead. Every wealthy man. Hallelujah. Every celebrity. That's right. And Michael Jackson didn't get by when he heard the voice of God. He Hallelujah. Goes, Come out the ground. That's right. And Let us all appear. Everybody. All appear. Everybody. Go ahead. And Go ahead. Think of the Ray Charles, Michael Jackson, James Brown, Ooh, Sam right. Cook. That's right. Mahalia Jackson, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, That's Art something. Tatum. Oscar Peterson. It doesn't matter who you are. We must all and appear. Everybody from every period of time of the world. That's right. They're going to be standing before God in Roman uniforms. Yes, yes, they They're going to be standing before God just like they're in the 16th century. That's right. Standing before God just like they're in the 21st century. That's right. Standing before God just like they're in the 18th century. Amen. Standing before God, each class of people. Oh, yeah. From every generation starting oh, yeah. from Adam. All of him. Adam. Oh, yeah. Come on, take off. Go ahead. Study. Hallelujah. Starting from Adam. Hallelujah. You're gonna see Hitler, mm. Mussolini, Go ahead, man. Tojo, that's right. Gary, that's right. King Solomon, Amen. King David, all appear, all appear. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Huh? We must all appear Everybody. before the judgment seat of Christ. God don't care who you are. Amen. Elijah Muhammad, mm. he too. That's right. Huh? He too. Master Farad Muhammad, you too. You, that's right. Everybody. We must all appear. God said, as God said, all, all God me. All. all. That's right. That's right. All appear. And out of all your money you have, you won't get away from this scripture here. We must all appear. Everybody. Before the judgment seat of Christ. All them that died in wars all mm. through the years. Hallelujah. God going to collect the dust. That's right. Huh? That's right. God, I said. Hallelujah. Hold it, take. God is going to collect the dust. That's right. Standing before Stand. God with swords, mm. guns, rifles on yeah. the hip. Thank God, standing before God. We must all appear. I don't care who you are. Oh, yeah. You're not going to get away. No, no. He's going to interrupt your club. Yes, he He's going to interrupt your party. That's right. He's going to interrupt that woman sliding down the pole. That's right. When she looked out the window, there's Jesus. That's right. Defying the law of gravity. That's right. Yeah. We must all appear. all appear. Before the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. All appear. All appear. Oh, really? God, it's just as easy to get away from this yeah. as it is to drill for oil using a bobby pin. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. And you strike oil. Mm. <laughs> you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Listen at this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. What did he say? Well, we must all appear oh, before the judgment seat of Christ. God, we shall all appear. You better repent. You better repent. Religious world, religious world. You can hate Pastor Jennings all you want. That don't mean nothing no more than pouring water on the duck's back. That's right. And when you pour water on the duck, a duck is not phased. No. Because of the oil that's in his feathers, the water run off. That's right. That's the way it is. Because of the gospel that is in my body, you hate ahead. run Go off. Go ahead. You got to come on back to what the word of God said. That's because right. Because the word of God is going to judge you. Yeah. You can be upset. You can cuss. You can swear. You can put it's your it. finger up, your arm up, your foot up, your head up, your that's nose. Right. Up, but when you're done, you're going to come right back yes, you and will. do what God Almighty say must be done. That's right. What is that? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And what is that? That, that, everyone, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. Now, wait a minute. Mm. Wait a minute. Everyone. Everyone may get what? Everyone may receive the things done in his body. Would you want God to give you what you're giving him? What did God say? That everyone may receive the things done in his body. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Big <Bigster>. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Hey, he said you're going to reap what you sow. Yes, you will. Huh? That everyone may receive the everyone. things done in his Shall body. Shall receive the things. The things. The things. things. Why did he say things? Because he knows folks ain't do one thing. No. What you want God to do to you? Mm. What you doing to him? No way. No, no. Would you want God no. to do to you mm. what you have done to him? 
what you want God to do to you, what you got in mind to do to him. Amen. No way. Go ahead. Come on, you that are watching this message around the world rightly. You so tough and got so much mouth and cuss. I mean, people are hating this message. One man, right, he write me ever so often. One man wrote me and said, you got to be out your mind <laughs> to think there's some Jesus coming. I don't care if you don't believe it. I don't care. I don't care. Listen, I don't care if you don't believe it no more than you may not believe if you stand on 95 mm -hmm. and uh, get into the middle lane. That a tractor trailer is coming. Yeah. You may not believe it. Stay there. Stay there. Just stay there. That's right. Just stay there. That's right. And uh, you, you'll get educated right away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll get educated. Yes, you will. You walk around here. You know, these men get a little big book learning. Mm. Study a bunch of other books that some other man wrote. Mm. And then you come out with some ignorant, foolish belief. That's right. Challenging the reality of God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Then you read some fool book fool that a book. blind deceiver mm -hmm. written and now you come along it ain't no god and mm -hmm. god is a myth you believe what you want you fool that's a fool the devil got you believing something that he don't believe that's right even devil even the devil believes believe in god in that's right but the bible says if you believe there's one god you do well well the devils believe it and they tremble they tremble that's right yeah. for we must all appear do you know look yeah yeah What's going to happen? We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Listen, get all, this. All. You that smoke and got your six pack of beer at home. Yeah. You're going to stand before God. That's right. Huh? That's right. You may sit around and say, well, Pastor Jennings, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that don't hurt. God understand who do you think you are. God ain't changing his word for you. No, no. Huh? No, no. Hey, man, who do you think you are that God will change his word for you? Me? Because you don't want to make no changes. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, man, people write me from all across the world and get upset cussing me out and laying me out. I don't lose sleep. No. After I read that letter, I laugh and come back and preach the same thing. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. What is that? We must all appear. You're going to appear before God. Before the judgment seat of Christ. Before who? Before the judgment seat of Christ. Now think of God going to judge you. Judge you. You two men that marry each other mm. and some old quack that pose as a judge or a good-for-nothing preacher tell you, you know, like America now made an adjustment uh, across the board and the, and, and, and the uh, legal system when judges perform marriages now, they say they won't, they won't say I pronounce you husband and wife. Mm. They say I, I pronounce you ex-spouse. Mm. In other words, they take a shortcut just sure. in case they got two women up there or two men. That's right. Don't you know when two men get married? That's let, right. let me rephrase that. When two men pretend to get married. Amen. Because that's not a marriage. That's not a marriage. Uh-uh. No, when two men get up there and two women get up there, that's a three dollar bill and a four dollar bill. That's it. That's right. Both of them are fake and fraud. That's right. It's not real. No. Hey Amen. I don't and listen, go ahead, take God. I don't care who you are, where you come from. You, you, that's why there are television stations now. They don't want me to preach against homosexuality. Yeah. Amen. There are television stations now don't want me to preach against homosexuality. I was in England uh, two weeks ago, and even over there now, mm. they are passing law. They make it law now that if you preach against homosexuality, mm -hmm. uh, throw you in jail. <laughs> the, 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 the government of England now want to dictate to religion what to preach and what not to preach. Amen. The government of Canada want to dictate to religion what to preach and not to preach. And I'm telling you, America is heading the same way. Amen. Now, the reason why you find these preachers like T.D. Snakes and Crefler O'Penny <laughs> and uh, Peter Popoff and, and uh, the, the uh, cotton candy preacher Joel Allstein, Allstein. and the reason why you find uh, Fred Price and all these other fellas who love to wine and dine you to hell. That's right. The reason why you find many preachers don't speak against the government and their laws 
because 99.9 of them are being, uh, there's a program in their organization where they're getting governmental subsidies. Yeah. And because they're being funded by the government, yeah. they don't want to preach nothing or say nothing that will cut down those grants. That's right. Well, I don't care if the government was giving us a billion dollars a day. Go ahead. I blast you into hell. That's right. And I got That's right. God everlasting word. That's right. Anytime a preacher is afraid to stand up for God because he getting grants or governmental contracts and he won't preach against things that the government are doing, yeah. the government is a pimp and that preacher is the government's personal hoe. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I said the preacher, I said. Go ahead. I said the preacher. That's right. The preacher is owned by the government. Oh, amen. He's a prostitute for the government. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, the government got same-sex marriages, and here you got the preacher. There's nothing wrong with same-sex marriages. Do what you want, what because you want. I got my governmental subsidies. Amen. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you was giving First Church a billion dollars an hour. Go ahead. A bit, listen, we done, listen I, we done turned down. I turned down over seven million dollars. Already. And I turned Already. it down, I believe it was this year. That's right. There was an organization that wanted to rent our gymnasium mm -hmm. and offered us a seven year contract. For gi giving us over a hundred thousand dollars a month, <laughs> offered us a seven-year contract. My Lord, they give us a hundred thousand dollars a month. Amen. Amen. But I, I put together a letter that says to whom it may concern, glory to God, <laughs> and to whom it may concern, and anyone who wants to use uh, these uh, facilities. Uh, our religion or our stand is holiness. That means we believe what the prophets and Jesus and the apostles believe and practice the same. So therefore, on these, on these properties of the truth of God, uh, we cannot have no pagan holiday observance. Mm -hmm. So therefore, no Christmas. Why? The Bible ain't never said Jesus was born December 25th. No. Someone said, Pastor Jesus, but you shouldn't preach that now in summertime. The Bible said be instant in season mm -hmm. and out of season. Out of season. Huh? That's so right. if I kill it in the summertime, I save you money in the winter. That's right. That's right. <laughs> huh? oh, Amen. You know it ain't no man coming down your chimney uh -huh. in Harrisburg and live to tell about it. Lord. Amen. Where they got you a beat him before he hit the ground. That's right. You ain't either beat him or you'll take his boots. <laughs> Can you get what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. But we put it, we put it in our paperwork. There will, we, there is no Christmas celebration, and they wanted to rent our gymnasium and use our classrooms. We had it in our um, documentation. No Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. uh, no Christmas plays. That's right. You can't even sing a Christmas carol. That's right. No trick or treat. No Halloween parties. No, no Halloween decorations. No Easter. You can't rent the gymnasium out to a neighborhood jam session. That's right. I turned down over seven mil seven million dollars. Seven million. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. And when they read that, they said, Well, we respect your beliefs, but we think we'll take our business elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't say, Well, wait a minute, no, wait nothing. Oh no. No, no. Ain't nobody hold you can't buy me. Go ahead, brother. I believe what's written. That's right. Anytime you're going to sell out for money, you ought to go to hell. Go. Amen. And you don't love Jesus. That's right. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. That's right. And you find these churches that got all these. Listen, there's nothing wrong with having governmental program. Nothing wrong at all. Right. As long as you don't bow to the rules of the government any time it makes you contradict the standard of God. That's right. Huh? Amen. And man, we plan on having a senior citizen's home. But it ain't an old person in the home gonna bring a Christmas tree in it. No. I don't care how old you are. Amen. I don't care I don't care if it's so small, it's smaller than Charlie Brown's Christmas. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Not here. That's right. 
We not going to bow to nobody. Oh, wonderful. Huh? Wonderful. You know, when you got this thing like the Bible said, you adore it the way God said, first and foremost. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? For we must all appear. We must all do it. All appear before the judgment seat of Christ. You're going to stand before God? Oh, yeah. Why would a child of God take their children oh. to a Christmas parade? Go ahead. That's not for God's people. For God's people. Christmas is heathenism. That's right. Christmas is paganism. That's right. Man, mm -hmm. why would you take your child to a Christmas parade, take him to a pervert, Amen. sitting on a pervert lap, and a man looking at your half-naked little daughter, mm -hmm. and a man looking at your son, too? That's what right. do you want for Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, That's right. If you love your children, tell the truth. Oh, yeah. Christmas is a lie. Amen. Bible ain't never said that Jesus was born December 25th. Mm -hmm. No more than it said that he rose on Easter, you liar. That's right. It lies. It lies. Amen. That's why I thank God for the truth of God because it's guaranteed mm -hmm. that we're going to tell you the truth. That's right. It's guaranteed. No, yeah. maybe it's all about it. So you may turn the television on and say, what is they going to preach today? The truth. The truth. The whole truth. That's right. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, all right, son. For we must all appear must before all the judgment seat of Christ. Christ. That everyone may receive the things done in his body. Yes. According, according to, to that he hath done. To what he hath done. Whether it be good or bad. Mm. Do you want God to give you for your bad? Hey. Now, most people will say, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Then why you don't want to obey this message? That's right. Why you don't want to break up your folly ground? That's right. Why you want to keep living together, not married? Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. Why, 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 why you want to have that other man's husband? Right. Your husband's still living. That's right. Sister. That's right. Miss Stain. Amen. Hey, Miss Stain. Amen. Your first husband's still living. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I divorced him. God say he hate divorce. Hate divorce. Well, what am I supposed to do? The Bible don't allow you to give your body to nobody else. That's right. Pastor Jennings, don't call me. I didn't write the Bible. That's right. I didn't write the Bible. Now concerning the things. My God, do you hear what the word of God says? In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, we're starting yeah, at verse yeah. 1. Every preacher in Harrisburg that, that lets you divorce is the devil's preacher. Yes, it Listen is. to Pastor Jennings now. Listen to what I'm telling you. I said every, every preacher. preacher. I don't care if it's your daddy. Mm -hmm. I don't care if your husband is a preacher. And if your husband say he can divorce you, your husband is a liar with he the lied. Bible under his armpit. That's right. I don't care if it's your father or your slap happy grandpappy. Amen. If he's sitting there with the Bible in one arm and a harmonica in his mouth, <laughs> and he say he can divorce. He can divorce. You know, when I came up, my father used to play that song, Hambone, Hambone, That's have right. you heard? You tell Reverend Hambone you can't divorce. Amen. Eh? Amen. All right, son. First Corinthians 7, we're starting at verse 1. Follow me, you divorce lovers in Harrisburg, and you that's watching on television. Listen at this. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me. What? It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Only God said that. Only God. None of us will say that. No. A real man won't say that. No. God said that. God can say that. You know why? God is not a man. That's right. God is spirit. That's right. He can say what he wants. Amen. All right. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, what? let every man have his own wife. All right, then. Here's that man undivorced his wife. He done divorced Mary, and now he got Martha. Mm. And now him and Martha fell out, and now he want to get Sarah. That's right. And man, and Sarah didn't work, now he got Naomi. Yeah. Naomi didn't work, now he got Ruth. Amen. Amen. And man, Ruth didn't work out, now he got Cleophas. <laughs> Amen. 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 Didn't work out, now he went back to another Mary. That's right. They trade in women like someone trading cars. Let every man and have his own good wife. For nothing. Bums that pose as preachers tell you it's all right. That's why you love them preacher churches. That's right. You love churches that let you trade in men and trade in women because you don't want to do right no how. That's right. And here's when you hear the word of God. Why do you think Jesus was crucified? Mm. Let me give you some revelation here. Mm. When Jesus was crucified on the cross, they nailed his hands and feet. Now here is the Bible says we are crucified with Jesus. With him. 
That's why the Bible come nail your hands to the word. That's right. Take away your freedom of usage. Oh yeah. Nail your feet to the word. Mm -hmm. So you can't go where you normally would go. That's right. Nail your hands to the word. That's right. So you can't handle or touch the things you normally would touch. A amen. Ah! Amen. Glory to God. Let every man. Let every man have his own wife. Let have his own what? His own wife. And what? And let every woman have her own husband. All right, give me the seventh chapter of the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. Begin at verse one, because these preachers in Harrisburg, many of them got second wives and third wives, and you folk go to them churches. Mm -hmm. You go there. You know why you go there? Because you go there with your second husband. Yeah. You and your second husband. Hey, man, you done divorced James and you married Mike. That's right. <laughs> The divorce James and now you and Mike driving there all smiling in your Cadillac. He's smoking a pipe and she's smoking cigarettes going to a uh, memorial Baptist church. That's right. Amen. And you both get all on the church parking lot and join all the others out there smoking your last drag yeah. on the church grounds and put a few lifesavers and tit tat in your mouth. Go and Go to church to sing about Jesus, you hypocrite. That's right. You're nothing but a life-saving hypocrite. Amen. You no more saved than a dog can tap dance and join the Apollo Theater. Amen. <laughs> you no more saved at all. Well, no. You're nothing but a sinner. That's it. You don't want to be told you're a sinner no. because you want to believe you're a Christian. You think you're a Christian because you got a Bible in your hand and you went to some church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Well, here Roaches was at church before you got there. Amen. You don't find them saying they're Christian. No. Eh? No, no. Eh? No. You don't get what I'm telling you? Romans chapter you 7. You think you're a Christian because you go to church on Sunday? Are you that big of a fool? I don't care if you brought a mattress and slept in the church. That's that right. don't mean you're a Christian. No. You're a Christian means one that act like Christ, live like Christ, walk like Christ, talk like Christ, and hold the same standard that Christ held. That's right. Ah! Romans chapter 7 we're starting in verse 1. What is it? Know ye not brethren. Know ye not brothers. For I speak to them that know the law. I say to them that know God's law. How that the law hath dominion over man as long as he liveth. What is it? For the woman which hath an husband. The woman that hath a husband. Is bound by the law to her husband. How long? So long as he liveth. Then what? But if the husband be dead. If the husband be in prison. If the husband be dead. Coma. Be dead. Short. Dead. Bald. Dead. Blind. Dead. Dead. Death. Dead. Lose his teeth. Dead. Lose his hair. Dead. Pig leg. Dead. One arm. Dead. No arm. Dead. Bad back. Dead. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He picked up and moved. If the husband be dead. Dead. Order in the church. That's right. If the husband be dead. She is loosed from the law of her husband. Wait a minute. What got to happen for her to be loose? If the husband be dead. Now, if he die, what is her circumstance? She is loosed from the law of her husband. What got to happen to her husband? If the husband be dead. Then what happened to her? She is loosed from the law of her husband. She's loosed, but what got to happen first? If the husband be dead, she is loosed. What got to happen? If the husband be dead, she is loosed. You know how to teach in elementary school? Class, class, That's class. Right. Say it with me, class. If the husband be what? If the husband be dead. Class, say it with me, class. If the husband be what? If the husband be dead. If the husband be what? Be dead. If the husband be what? Be dead. Say it, class. If the husband be what? Be dead. Go ahead. Got to be dead. Got to be dead. You're not a fool. You know what dead is. That's right. You're not a fool. That's right. You know what dead is. Dead. Not dying either. Dead. Or that God, you run inside that room if that heart monitor's still going. <laughs> you might as well tear up that second license. That's right. That's right. Tear it up. Tear it. He got to be dead. 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 Amen. Amen. Dead. The body without the spirit. Dead. Dead. All right. But if the husband be dead, then what? She is loose from the law of her husband. Uh -huh. So then, if. Uh oh. Here. Here. Here now. So then if, if, while her husband liveth, let's, let's read this slow. So, if, so then if, so then if, while, while her husband lives, she be married to another man. So then if, so then if, while, while her husband liveth, while your husband is still living, breathing, kicking. Yeah. What? She be married to another man. Hey, you got another man while your husband is still living. 
breathing, kicking. What is she called? She shall be called a Christian, an adulteress. Amen. A Christian, an adulteress. Amen. She shall be called an adulteress. But it's the pastor's wife. She shall be called an adulteress. The pastor's mama. She shall be called an adulteress. The pastor's sister. She shall be called an adulteress. The pastor's aunt. She shall be called an, an the adulteress. The pastor's daughter. She shall be called an adulteress. The choir director. She shall be called an adulteress. The organ player. She shall be called an adulteress. The usher. She shall be called an adulteress. The woman that's looking at me on television now. She shall be called an adulteress. Amen. What if she white? She shall be called an adulteress. Black. An adulteress. Cinnamon. An adulteress. Yellow. An adulteress. Neutral. An adulteress. Amen. Go to any church you want. Go ahead, brother. And they get mad at me as if I wrote the Bible. Amen. Amen. I didn't write the Bible. This stuff was written before I was born. That's right. My right. job is to preach it. Amen. My job is to preach it. Preach it. Why your pastor don't preach it? Mm -hmm. You know why your pastor don't preach it? Because he's a hypocrite. Yeah. Why you don't want to obey it? Why you don't want to obey it? Because you love sin. Love it. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Is death. And the gift of God is eternal life. That's right. Thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, All right, so then if while her husband liveth, while your husband is alive, she be married to another man. I, 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 you can go. I don't care what position you hold in your church. Jump, shout, be a celebrity, be a movie star, be a multi-millionaire that don't dwindle the reality and the force of the scriptures. That's right. Be a president, be a mayor, be a governor. That's right. Amen. That's right. I, if that, and look, yeah, if that second man bought you a house, bought you a car, mm -hmm. gave you a joint account. And give you five thousand dollars a day. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. The Bible says. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. No. Say congratulations to her when she got another man. She shall be called an adulteress. By her wedding. So what kind of wedding is that? An adulteress. Amen. Adulteress. Amen. Adulteress. When your first husband lives and you get married again, what kind of reception did he have? An adulteress, adulteress. When a photographer takes pictures of that woman and she got a second husband, a first husband living, what kind of pictures? What, what, what are you taking pictures of? Adulteress. An adulterous woman. An adulteress. Go to church now. Go to mm. church. Go to church, jump and shout, fall out, roll over, do what you want. Yeah. Open the smoke clear. You're going to do what the Bible says do, or you're going to stand before God. Get mad at Get Pastor mad. Jennings all you want. But when your breath leave your body, yeah. and your breath going to leave your body one day, oh, yeah. and the undertaker going to cut you open and hear your spirit, Go ahead. it's going to be in the hands of God. And if you die with that second man, yeah. and that first man is still living, yeah. and you don't hurt that gospel of holiness at my big mouth, and you didn't obey it, Go ahead. the hell everlasting hell. You're going. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, this ministry as we have received mercy. This is Second Corinthians, the chapter fourth four. chapter, and begin at verse one. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But I've renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. That's what I'm sent to do. I'm sent to renounce that which is against God. Mm -hmm. Not walking in craftiness, nor, nor handling, handling the, the word, word of God, God the wrong way. way. I'm not handling the word of God wrong. I'm determined to handle it right. What you mean? Preach it right. Preach it right. Tell them what's right. That's right. If they don't like it, tell them what's right anyway. That's right. All right. But by manifestation of the truth. Do what? Commending ourselves. Do what? But by manifestation of the truth. Now you bear in mind. Yeah. He said by manifestation of what? Of the truth. Let's see how God manifests that truth in the book of Titus. Book of Titus. The Bible said God make manifest his word. Through preaching. Through preaching. But hath in due time. Listen at this. In Titus chapter 1 and at verse 3. Says what? But hath in due time. Hath in due time. Manifested his word. He manifests his word. Through preaching. How's God getting his word over? Through preaching. Through preaching. He ain't getting his word over through some fake Christian comedy club. <laughs> no. No, no. You folk go to these fake Christian comedy clubs in a church? In a church. 
in a church. Who do you think this mess is? Amen. You mean to tell me you don't realize that's playing church? Playing. A Christian comedy club in church. Amen. Are you that foolish? Oh, Lord. Christian rappers. Yes. Mm -hmm. They got Christian twerking now. My Lord. Ha! You know men going to that church. Amen. Everything that devil come out with, people duplicate it yeah. and imitate it. Oh, yeah. They got Christian pole dancing in church. Got a pole in church. My Lord, my Lord. My Lord. And then when I preach against it, people think something wrong with me. <laughs> That's why sinners get upset with us who don't want to live right. Mm -hmm. But I want to say to the world of sinner and to the you church people who claim you saved, the world is coming to a close. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, it's coming to a close. Oh, yeah. All your fun, all your good time, God is knocking at your door. That's right. You got pains now you never had. That's right. Get shortness of breath once in a while. The Bible said the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. God will strike you. Yes, he will. Strike a pain through your heart. Amen. Cut your breathing down where you can't act like a fool as much as you used to. That's right. Amen. What happened? God's slowing down your rhythms. Oh, yeah. Ah! Amen. Some preachers said, listen, some people said they insult the Lord and said the Lord is trying to get your attention. That's an insult. That's an insult. You ain't that deep God got to try to get your attention. No. God just gets your attention. That's it. God wants it. He gets it. He gets it. That's right. You preachers, they don't accept you. I don't care what you call yourself. There's not a Baptist preacher in the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's not an apostolic preacher in the Bible. You better not tell me it is. Uh -huh. I make you show it to me. Yeah. Not a Pentecostal church in the Bible. Not a Lutheran church. Not a Catholic. Not a non-denominational. None. None of it. What did God tell us to be? Holy. Give me Ephesians chapter 1, begin at verse 4. Let's see how long holiness has been around. That's what makes me challenge these churches. That's right. I challenge every church in town. I know the preachers don't like it, but they can't do nothing. No. They can't do anything about it. I challenge, if you Baptist or Presbyterian or non-denominational or Pentecostal or Apostolic, I challenge that trash you got right now because God told you to be holy. And if God say be holy, who gave you the authority to be something else? That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's Come it. on back to Bible. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. Some of you folk to myself, well, I'm Baptist born and I'll be Baptist gone. You was a sinner born and you're going to be a sinner going right to hell. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's where you're going to be going. Yes. That's right. Don't you know your religion got to be in the Bible? It yes. got to be in there. Oh, yeah. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. Your religion got to be in that Bible. Yes. yes. You've been going to the Baptist church 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. It ain't a Baptist preacher in the city of Harrisburg mm -hmm. can show you one scripture where a Baptist church is in that Bible. That's right. That one? That's right. No. There's not a Pentecostal preacher in town. No. Not a so-called apostolic preacher in town no. can get one scripture no. where such a religion exists in the Bible. That's right. Think of it. Pastor Dennis can come in Harrisburg and bark this as loud as he wants. Mm -hmm and rip the whole city to pieces with the Bible. The scripture. I'm telling the people, leave your church. Amen. Amen. Leave it. Leave it. Amen. I, I, you know, I, that's why I tell the folk I wish I was a multi-millionaire because I have to open up a church everywhere I go. Yeah. Everywhere. I have to open up one everywhere I go. Everywhere. Amen. Everywhere I get thousands of requests. Amen. And sometimes I'm not moving fast enough for people. Some, uh, there was a man... And uh, one part of Virginia, he said I wasn't moving fast enough, so he went and bought a church and gave it to me. <laughs> he wanted the church so bad, he took the money out of his pocket, bought it cash. Oh, yes. hey, Amen. I got some people in Australia wrote me, hey, amen, want to give land to the church and then want to finance and build a church in Australia. They said we don't have no church down here, so we'll build you one. Mm. Can you imagine that? Amen. People really want to be saved. And I want, you think I'm traveling around the world for fun and not getting paid to do it? I'm not getting paid. No. 
Who in the world gonna pay you for killing them? Amen. You think, do you think T.D. Jakes will come in this auditorium? No. T.D. Jakes wouldn't come preach to you. No. To him, the crowd ain't large enough. God, if it was, if it was one dwarf in here. One dwarf. Huh? One dwarf, and I had to stand on the ladder to see him. See him. Oh, God. Yes. If I had to stand on the ladder, if he was way in the back, just saying, Amen. <laughs> Lord, that God, I'd come here and labor with him just the same. Yes, you would. The Bible said, when one soul repented, the heaven rejoiced. Rejoice. The angels rejoice when one soul repents. That's right. Didn't I say so? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love people so. Amen. I'm, I'm not here to get your money. I'm here to get your soul. Amen. It shocks people when they see so many thousands of people coming to a rough, tough message like this. Amen. What I'm preaching, some people was raised up on. Amen. What I'm preaching, some of the old timers used to hear when they was young. Amen. And this is how bad church have gotten now. Some of the same thing that old timers used to get on the young people about, now they're doing. Yeah. Going back with somebody, when I came up, if there was a young sister sitting on the front row, skirt or dress was too short, a mother would come with a, 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 a scarf or a sheet or something, throw it over her lap. Now, if grandma dress is just as short as the young sister. That's true. Her dress is short and she got a cane. <laughs> Am I right, I say? <laughs> What am I laboring to do? To pull everybody back to the old landmark. Let's come on back to real old-fashioned church. The devil is robbing society of the chance of getting right. Someone, people ask me, why you preach so hard? Because let me tell you something. Fighting the devil is a job. You see, I'm from the hood. And when you're from the hood, brother, you got to fight. Oh, yeah. When you come from the hood, you got to know how to hold your hands and mix it up. Now I got the Old Testament and the New That's Testament, new. and I got to, mix, got to mix it up. That's it. Got to fight the devil. That's it. And because we hit hard with the Bible, people say, oh, man, their holiness is too strict. That's why they run to the preachers that preach like, stop your wrong, stop your wrong. You better stop your wrong. Jesus love you for this side of the house. That's right. That's right. When I came up in the hood, it ain't no real man fighting like that. No. Even the women in the hood didn't the fight women. like that. You find women, come on. All balled up, ready to mix it up. That's right. And the devil's more tougher than the hood. Oh, yes. And you got to fight and hit hard against sin. That's right. Sometimes it's hard to stop sinning, isn't it? Yeah. And these preachers have made sin so cushiony and comfortable and make you happy in it. That's right. That's right. My job is to stir up your mind so you never get comfortable. Because when you get comfortable, the more comfortable you get, the more harder it gets for you to come out of it. That's right. Repent of your sins. Repent. Be sorry about your wrongs. Yeah. Get ready to get on God's side. That's it. I was thinking on my way here. I made up my mind that we're going we're gonna to open up something here in Harrisburg. I got to open up something here. I just have to do it. I just have to do it. My God, man, I have to do it. I'm, I, I, I tell people to leave their churches and they ain't got nowhere to go. That's true. Hey Amen. So, y'all, I, I, got, I got to find something in Harrisburg, even, even if I got to rent it for a while. As long as I find something to keep you off the streets of Harrisburg. That's right. And get you out of your fake churches. Hallelujah. It's needed here. Everywhere I go, my God, people pulling on Pastor Jennings all over America and the world. Open up churches. I had a couple came in from the Philippines when I was in England two weeks ago. 
After they got baptized, right away they started asking me, will you please go to the Philippines and open up the church? My God, man, I, 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 I wish I could do that Samantha Stevens thing. <laughs> Make the church just pop up. Huh? Amen. Yeah, these preachers got all these big churches, and all you doing is making them rich. That's it. They're just getting richer and richer and lying to you more and more and playing with your soul. It's time for you to do it right. Oh, yeah. Either you want to do it right or you don't. That's right. And for any of you that come to see me for the first time in person, you want to know, am I any different in person? Am I out on television? No! no. The only difference is you can't turn me off when you don't like what we said. Amen. Eh? Amen. Can't turn me off. You can tip out, but you can't turn me off. That's right. No static either. That's you right. Because sometimes when some stitches don't like what I say, they black the screen. Yeah. And just hear my voice or the whole program just black out. And then, oh, sometimes the station don't air it and claim they get our service mixed up with somebody else. You can't get this message mixed up with nobody. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. We're the only preacher on television or, or on social media that's not preaching for money. That's right. We're the only one that's not that's even one. preaching for money. That's These right. men get over the air like last year, was it? Preston mm -hmm. Old Dollar said he wanted 65 million or 64 million to buy a new jet. He got it. He got it. And uh, was it a month ago, this other false prophet? He said he need 54 million to buy his fourth jet. He said the Lord told him. He showed his pictures of all his other three jets. He said, he, he said proudly, he said, now I wore these three jets out. <laughs> and the Lord told me it's time to get my fourth jet. Let me get over to television and tell the folk I want a model jet. Not, a, not even a real one. <laughs> a model one from Army and Navy. They'd be like, let that man walk. <laughs> I don't want no jet. I don't want none of that. All I want is your soul to get right with him. That's it. Because the Lord our God is coming. Oh, yes. I'm just going around the world. Yes, warning. Warning. Every man. Yes, you are. And every woman, I'm warning you. Yes, clean up your ways. Yes, sir. You only got a short life expense. And have you noticed, seem like the young people is dying quicker than the older folk. You got a young lifespan. Don't block up the doorway, please. You got a young. You don't have a long lifespan today, you young people. Your mothers and your fathers are walking you to the grave. Mothers and fathers is walking their sons and daughters. Time for you to make a change. Okay. Repent of your sins. Yes, this is what everybody got to do. Everybody. Mm -hmm. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you ain't saved. If you no. pray some old cheap sinner's prayer, you're not saved. No, no. You went to a Catholic church and a pervert priest got some water and threw it on your head. You ain't never been saved. No. Never. If you was baptized in a Baptist church, you was baptized wrong. Mm -hmm. If you was baptized in a Catholic church, you were baptized wrong. If you was baptized in the Pentecostal church, you was baptized wrong. All of them baptized you wrong. Oh. The Bible says in Acts 2.38, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. What? Repent. You want Repent. to be right? What did God tell you to do? Repent. God wants you to be sorry. You get a person that's sorry, brother, they make an effort to change. Repent. And be baptized. Who? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. Did you hear this? Amen. This is what all of you got to do. All of you that been, listen, somebody say, well, I've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You ain't got baptized. You got wet. Right, got wet. <laughs> well, didn't Jesus say baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. No. Jesus didn't say baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. He said baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm a husband. But if I tell you do something in my name, are you going to say husband? No. Are you going to say husband? No. Are you going to say son? No. Are you going to say father? No. Are you going to say Jennings? Yes. Right. That's my name. That's the name. All of you that was baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost just got wet. That's it. You ain't baptized, you're just wet. That's all. Matthew 20, 19, Jesus told them to go do it. Acts 2.38 is where it was fulfilled. It was done. That's right. 
What they said. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right, Harrisburg, are you ready to do right now? Are you ready to do right? Repent. And be baptized. Who? Every one of you. Why? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. And? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right, anybody want to get right with God and want to escape the flames of hell that's coming it's on coming. creation? If you want to get saved the Bible way. Bible. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet today. If you want to get it right, stand on your feet. Come on. Come on. If you want it right, come on. Come on, Harris Brad. Over to God. All of you that are standing. You see what they're standing at at the door? All of you that are standing. Go with their brothers and sister at. Show them where they go so they don't pile up there. Take them on out there in the lobby. Show them where they go. Wonderful, wonderful. Get yourself ready to baptize. your head down, hand up, they about to put something over on you? That's right. God ain't never tell you bow your head and raise your hands. No. Bible ain't never say hold a preacher hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Lord Jesus, hold, I'm a sinner, wash me, cleanse me. God ain't say do that. No. Did it? Repent. What did he say? Repent. No, join the church. Repent. Pray a sinner's prayer. Repent. Repent. Anybody else want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Because you're not saved unless you have it. That's right. That's right. You're not saved at all. Oh. Well, Pastor, then I got saved last week. How? Amen. Well, I hold the preacher's hand and he's told me Christ came in my heart. He lied. He lied. Bible ain't never told you to hold some old preacher's hand. And Christ gonna come in your heart through the hand of a preacher. That's You're right. You're a liar. That's right. The Bible says. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Now, the false preacher said, and the people that go to these churches said, Oh, you ain't got to be baptized. That ain't what Jesus said. No, it didn't. Give me the book of Mark. Book of Mark. Chapter 16. That's right. Follow me in your Bible so I can knock off. Come on back tomorrow, everybody, because they get ready to be baptized right now. Come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Don't go to your church. Mm -hmm. Don't you waste your time and give that liar your money. That's right. And he come out with the blessing plan. Do you know what the plan is? The plan is get your money. The blessing is he got your money. Amen. Listen. In Mark chapter 16 and verse 16. Listen at the book of Mark chapter 16. And verse 16. Says what? He that believeth. Uh oh. He that believeth. And these folks say baptism is the outward sign and inward grace. There ain't no Bible tell you that lie. No. The Bible speaks plain. He that believeth. He that believeth. And is baptized. Glory to God and. And is baptized. No, baptism is the outward sign and inward grace. He that believeth and is baptized. What happened to him? Shall be saved. What? He that believeth and is baptized. No, he that believeth and bowed his head and raised his hand. He that believeth and is baptized. He that believeth and joined the church. He that believeth and is baptized. Pray a sinner's prayer. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Hour of decision. He that believeth and is baptized. No, he that believeth sit on a mourner's bench and gets several different works of grace. He that believeth and is baptized. You ain't baptized, you're not. You ain't saved. Not saved. You no more saved than a duck can smoke a cigar <laughs> and cause air pollution for the whole city of Los Angeles. Amen. You're not saved. No. At all. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Well, Pastor Jenner, what about the thief in the cross?
cross, he wasn't baptized, he couldn't be baptized. That's right. Give me the Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. verse 7. And then let's get the thief on the cross so I can straighten that out. Move quick. Ephesians Lord, chapter 1 and that verse 7. Ticking, I got to get away from here. Ephesians chapter 1 and that verse 7. All right. In whom we have redemption through his blood. In whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. The forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of his grace. Now, we have forgiveness, redemption through his blood. Now, the thief could not be baptized because no blood was shed. Yeah, that's right. There was no blood shed. Don't you hear the Bible say without the shedding of blood, there's no remission or no removing of sin? Jesus ain't shed no blood yet, so how in the world going the thief going to be baptized? Well, Pastor Jesus, the thief went to heaven. He did not. No, he didn't. In the well, so the thief asked Jesus to take him there. He did not. That's right. You overlook something. That's right. Come on, son. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 23. Follow me. And we'll start reading at verse 38. All right, come on. And the superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek. Yes. And in Hebrew, this is the king of the Jews. Oh, yes. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed one on him. One of the malefactors which was hanging railed on him. Saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and us. Yeah. But the other answering rebuked him. Rebuked him. Saying, doest thou not fear God? Don't you fear God. Seeing thou art in the same condemnation. Uh -huh. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. Yeah. But this man hath done nothing amiss. Uh -huh. And he said unto Jesus. He said to Jesus. Lord. Lord. Remember me. No, take me. Lord, remember me. No, take me. Lord, remember me. What? When thou comest into thy kingdom. No, take me when you go in the kingdom. Remember me when thou comest into thy no, kingdom. No, take me with you when you go in the kingdom. Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. You see how the kingdom. preachers twist that up? Twist it. You see how the preachers twist up? That's right. They said that the thief went to heaven with Jesus. You was a liar. That's amen. amen. And he said unto Jesus, He said to Jesus, Lord, Lord, remember me. What? When thou comest into thy kingdom. And what did Jesus say? And Jesus said unto him, uh -huh. Verily I say unto thee, uh -huh. today, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Well, wait a minute. Well, see that Pastor Jesus? He went to heaven that day. You fool. How are you going to go to heaven before Jesus? Jesus didn't even go that day. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Not even Jesus went that day. That's right. And he said unto Jesus. When Jesus died, he went from the cross and went to the grave. The grave. And was down there three days. Right. And three nights. And when he rose the third day, he still didn't go right up into heaven. That's right. He walked among his apostles. Yes, yeah. And was seen among them. That's right. Yes, he going to go to heaven before Jesus. That's right. These blind, devil-deceived preachers. Mm. And he said unto Jesus. You see how they twist that up? Yeah. He said to Jesus. Lord. Lord. Remember me. No. Take me. Remember me. Take me. Remember me. When thou comest into and thy kingdom. And when Jesus said today. Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. How he going to be with Jesus today in paradise? Mm -hmm. In thought. Because he didn't ask Jesus to take him. Remember me. He asked Jesus to do what? Remember me. You remember something you think of him. That's right. Wonderful. It was the thought of the thief. That's it. That went with Jesus. That's it. Not the actual thief. That's right. The thief was a man. The Bible said no man had to send it up into heaven at any time but he that came down. All right. Hallelujah. Harris Bird, you got a belly full of it today. Come on back tomorrow. Come on back tomorrow. Come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, now there's a misannouncement on, uh, on the announcements. It said 11 and 5. No, it's only one session tomorrow. That's 11. It won't be a 5 o'clock session because we'll be back in Philadelphia. But it'll be 11 o'clock session on tomorrow. Let us all stand, Harrisburg. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you fallen before the presence of his glory. With exceeding joy to the only wise God our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him be glory and power both now and forever. Let everyone say amen. amen. All right, come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Thank God for you.